talking about sexual and reproductive health services. John and Butle are sitting at break with their friends. Emma says that she heard their friend Cindy is HIV positive. Butle is scared. She saw Cindy yesterday. Will she get AIDS too? John is worried he shared a packet of chips with her. And I gave her a hug. <laughs> Butle cries. John says he has heard if you get it, you are dead. John and Butle don't know what to do. John goes to his aunt and Butle goes to her teacher. But they are both too busy. So they ask their friends for advice. Their friends tell them they probably have AIDS now. But no stress if they take lots of vitamins. It will cure it. Pause. What went wrong here? Butler and John have been given the wrong information. It is important that they know the facts. So what should have happened? John's aunt and Butler's teacher tell them it is good they came to talk to them and suggest they get the right information at the clinic. When John and Butler arrive, the nurse listens first to their concerns. She isn't judgmental. It's good they came to talk to her. She gives them the facts. HIV is not spread through touch or food. The main way you get it is from having unprotected sex with someone who is HIV positive. They are relieved. But does this mean their friend Cindy is going to die? John asks. The nurse explains, HIV is no longer a death sentence. There isn't a cure, but if Cindy takes her antiretroviral drugs every day, she will live a long and normal life. They can help their friend by reminding her to take her ARVs every day and stopping others spreading false information about HIV. The nurse tells them about all the other sexual and reproductive health services they offer, like family planning and HIV and STI prevention. Come back whenever you have questions or need help, she says. John and Butle leave knowing that they can come anytime to the clinic and will be heard and helped. Access to the right information from the right people helps our children make the right choices. What sexual and reproductive health services are available for young people in your community? How can you help them access them? Let's talk. <laughs>